what's going on youtube so it's been a minute but welcome back to episode of tall and short customs oh that's tall and i'm short i'm doing some work on short doing some work on a harley today i went up to the harley dealership to get a few more twist pins my last ones this was all tore out opened up and my bags were rattling and i went up there and the guy actually upsold me on the upgraded version. So instead of me putting the twist pins in, okay, let me get you in camera, there you go. So instead of me putting the twist pins in and twisting, the new version, the actual screws, screws on. Not mad, the twist pins, it was only two for 30 bucks to cover only one side, but the ones that screw in, I got all four so I can upgrade the whole bike for a cost of $50. For $20 more, I get upgrade. So let's get going. Tall and short customs, we back at it. That's tall, I'm short. I'll be able to get a better view of what I'm doing, a better look once I get to the other side of the motorcycle. Cause I already had this side tore down. But huh? I had to go to the hardware store and get a couple of screws because my rear uh, clip came off. Um, got a little screwdriver, pop it right off, easy. I said easy, now it's taking, it's hard to get it. I did it with my hands last time. All right. And here's the uh, new. Decided on the bike, just wanna clip the new in. We on there. I'm having so much trouble because I'm working. Yeah, easy, clip on. I like it, and it seemed like it'll be a little bit more secure than what I had going on in the first place. And it's upgrade, so once again, it's showing. Screw right in. All right, so I'm going to screw the boat in. All right, took the time and put my rear bracket on for my saddlebag. So let me line my bags up and see how they work. What really motivated me to do the upgrade and do my little knickknacks on repairing my, well, getting my bike together. A good friend of mine, we plan on going to Myrtle Beach for bike week. So I have my, want to have my baby together while we down there. Camera went off and I didn't even know it was off. So what I'm doing now is lining up these brackets. See how I like the bag, but before it click off, what I was saying, well, maybe do this upgrade and little knickknacks to my bike. A friend of mine, we're actually going to. You say stop? We want to get on camera. There you go. A good friend of mine, we're going down to Myrtle Beach Bike Week, so for Memorial Day weekend. So I just want to make sure I do my little knickknacks and. A little miscellaneous things that I've been intending on doing, but just haven't made time to do to my bike before we get it. I hate to go down there to Myrtle Beach and then, boom, my saddle pad fall off. <laughs> Let me bring the camera up a little bit. So just kind of curious if anybody plan on going down to Myrtle Beach, bike eat. This will be my first time going. I've been to Myrtle Beach, but just not a bike event. So I'm excited to check it out for the first time. All right, so I'm having some issues lining it up. I'm gonna click off for a minute and clip right back on, all right? Well, I clicked off and I'm like, why did I even click off the idea to see what I'm doing? Let's see. I'm gonna whip it around and show it. So on these brackets, it's ways they're able to point up and able to point down. I'm able to slide up to adjust it. I just need to slide up a little bit to help my adjustment out. But I like them. Sweet with the upgrade.
Yeah. This is cool. And they tight. See if I can swing it around. Tightened up my bolts. And I put a lock washer in there to help it, to help keep it tight. I'm gonna turn it around in a second. That way you can see the difference between the two. So I'll be right back. All right, so I just want to put it inside the saddle bag, and now I'll show the other side. So basically, these are what the, the twist ends, twist in, and sometimes I don't, I feel like they don't drive ready to loose. <coughs> if I can find my other one, like this inside was all stripped out. This time, the upgrade was twenty dollars more, and able to do both bags. I can twist them, twist them tight, and, and feel very secure. I feel like my other bags were move and vibrate but this one don't so excellent um i already had this saddle bag off when i got started so i'll be able to take it over to the other side and you can see what it look like for me doing it from start to finish hey tall you straight tall so, tall on the break playing her game slash thinking she playing the game but watching youtube so let's get started on the other side All right finished product on this side i like it it's tight is it tight? It's good. Yep, tall says good. All right, I'm going to move the bike over a little bit and hook this side up. So once I get everything all situated and sit it down, we're going to be right back at it. Yo, tall and short back at it. I'm short. So tall. And been working. Look at them little hands. Dirty. All right, so we are on the other side of the bike. I'm going to take this saddle bag off. And proceed. All right, All right. Somebody been working. You working? You uh, take your shoe off. You working so hard. Now look at her right hand. Let me see. You working on your bike? Touching everything she don't need to touch. Took the saddle bag off. I'm going at that the twist pin that I don't like. I had to do a quick pause, but got a little screwdriver. Pop this off. Twist on it. And this is the one that was messed up. Yeah. Look on the inside. Dropped it. You see it? <laughs> but if you look on the inside, it's all jacked up, all chewed up. And this is what I'm talking about. The head is all humongous and torn up. But once again, the bike is a 2002. So it's possible with time and vibrating all over the place. Just got jacked up. Gonna slide the other one on, the new one. All right, here we go. Got the bottom in place. Wanna make sure it all lines up. Yeah, it looks great. All right, come on, tall. You in the way of the camera. I'm gonna move the camera so I can put the get a better view of me putting the saddle bag back on. i behind. I'm hoping this is a decent angle. See me screwing them in. 
If not, I'll change the camera. Excuse me. Yeah, it's not. All right, what I'm about to do is change the camera and just screw it with one hand. Flip it around. So I like it. No twist, turn. Just screw it until it stops. She trying to see what I'm doing. Wow, this person really been working. Let me see the hand. All right, I'm hooked. Gotta line the back one up a little bit. Both. Nope. Up a little bit, kinda. All right, there you go. And yeah, just screw it in. I like it. Close it up. And that's the saddle bag. Let me come back. And they're good and tight on there too. Cool. Yo, so I have the saddle bags together with the new clamps. I like them. They're solid. No play on them. Whole bike moving. Um, low key, I want to redo my bike again. So this fender is an overlay fender and I should have just spent the, the right money went with uh, Bad Dad. This is just something cheap that I bought off eBay. I don't know, fiberglass kind of weak too, but I think I should have went with a loud color, like a cherry apple red, something that sticks out and make my chrome shine. Any suggestions on what color I should do it or anybody's favorite color or even what you think the cherry apple red might look like. Hey! What up, Tom? All right, but I like it. Cheap upgrade. And once again, the bike is a 2002. So it's a possibility those things been on there. The old one, the old class been on there for 20 years. Yo, so that's it for the Harley. I like the new mount kicks that I did. Strong, secure. My bag's not flapping. The good test would be once I get on the bike and take it for a ride and see how I like it. Uh, next project, what I'm thinking about doing, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, a good friend of mine and I, we are going to Myrtle Beach for uh, Memorial Day weekend to have a biking event down there. And I have a saddle bag, not a saddle bag, a tour pack. Let me flip it. This is my King tour pack, it's humongous. I'm thinking about getting a wrap around about the same color as the bike. I saw some cheap wrap on Amazon for like um, seven, eight bucks for a six by one. So it's six feet tall and maybe uh, a foot wide. I don't think I need that much, but I just want to wrap it, see if I can get around the same color as the bike. And <clears throat> that way I can have some more room to pack my clothes and maybe put some water in, inside of the bike. Because in actuality, those tour packs not meant to carry like two pair of pants and shirts and stuff. I had that thing full when I rode to Atlanta. So that's what's next. Maybe I'll order it tonight, see how it goes. It can look like junk. It don't matter. Main thing I want is to at least be about the same color as the bike that when I'm down the road, I can pack more stuff inside of it. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all I got for you for today. Oh, I take the colors to Jose this week. That time went by so quick. I actually went up to the shop to holler at him for a minute. My One of my brothers came down to visit for a couple of days. I should have did a video of it. We did a few things. Then we went to the Hornets game. But, man, that time went fast. All right, guys. So I'm going to do a video maybe sometime this week and be cleaning out the garage and taking the car over to Jose Friday. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Holla. Man, what I'm talking about, holla. Y'all know what to do. Like, subscribe, shoot me some comments. Give me something to reply to, all right?
Peace.